Greetings, fellow seekers of wisdom. We find ourselves today on the precipice of a new era, where technology and philosophy intertwine in an intricate dance. This is a realm where the human mind, with its vast and intricate web of thoughts, emotions and memories, becomes the subject of inquiry and manipulation. We delve into the shadowed depths of consciousness and the tantalizing prospect of its transfer. This is a journey of exploration, a voyage into the uncharted territories of Neuralink and mind uploading, where we seek to decode the ethical quandaries that arise. So, let's embark on this expedition, to the crossroads where human cognition meets technological innovation, where we dare to question what it means to be truly alive. Could we, one day, upload our consciousness into a machine? This seemingly sci-fi question is the cornerstone of our exploration. An inquiry that stirs the imagination, provokes our deepest fears, and challenges our understanding of existence. As we delve into the core of the subject, let's first look at the concept of consciousness. Consciousness is the awareness of our own existence, emotions, thoughts, and surroundings. It is a complex, multidimensional phenomenon that remains largely a mystery in the field of neuroscience. The idea of transferring this consciousness, this essence of our being, into a machine, introduces an array of fascinating and perplexing possibilities. Neuralink, a neurotechnology company, is vigorously pursuing this goal. They aim to establish a high bandwidth interface between the human brain and machines, a concept referred to as brain-machine interface, BMI. This could potentially allow humans to merge with artificial intelligence and even achieve a form of digital immortality. Yet, the concept of mind uploading is not without its ethical quandaries. The process raises questions about identity, privacy, and most importantly, what it means to be human. If our consciousness is transferred to an artificial body, do we retain our humanity? And who owns this digital form of ourselves? Eminent thinkers have grappled with these questions for years. Philosopher John Locke proposed the concept of identity of consciousness, which suggests that the same consciousness equates to the same person, regardless of the physical form. In contrast, philosopher Derek Parfit argued for psychological continuity, where identity is not tied to a particular consciousness, but rather to a continuous psychological existence. These perspectives, while contrasting, highlight the complexity of consciousness transfer and raise significant ethical considerations. If Locke's theory holds true, mind uploading could be seen as a continuation of self, a digital reincarnation. But if we subscribe to Parfit's view, the implications become more unsettling. The uploaded mind may not be us at all, but a separate entity entirely. Our culture, too, reflects these philosophical quandaries. In the cinematic universe, films like Transcendence and Ghost in the Shell grapple with the concept of consciousness transfer. They explore the ethical implications, the struggle for identity, and the societal impact of such technology. Similarly, books like The Mind's Eye by Douglas Hofstadter and Daniel Dennett delve into the mysteries of self and consciousness, offering a literary exploration of these complex themes. Yet, the debate rages on in contemporary discussions. Some argue that mind uploading is a path to immortality, freeing us from the biological constraints of our bodies. Others, however, warn against the potential risks, loss of humanity, privacy concerns, and even the threat of consciousness hacking. These contrasting viewpoints underline the need for rigorous ethical guidelines in this nascent field. The relevance of this discussion is undeniable. As we stand on the brink of technological advancements that could redefine our understanding of life and death, the ethical quandaries become more pressing. The potential implications for society, for our sense of self, and for our fundamental human rights are profound. In this exploration, we have journeyed through the labyrinth of consciousness transfer, grappled with philosophical perspectives, delved into cultural reflections, and ignited contemporary debates. As we stand at the precipice of a new era, we must remember that technology is a tool, a means to an end, not the end itself. It remains our responsibility to wield it with wisdom, to ensure that progress does not come at the expense of our humanity.
As we draw this exploration to a close, I wish to express my gratitude for your active engagement in this journey of introspection and discovery. Your time and intellectual participation are deeply valued. In the quiet moments that follow, allow your thoughts to wander back through the intricate paths we've traversed. Reflect on the questions we've posed. What does it mean to be human in an era of advanced neurotechnology? If your consciousness was transferred to a machine, would you still be you? How can we navigate the ethical quandaries that arise with mind uploading? I invite you to carry these inquiries with you, to mull over them, to discuss them, and to look forward to our next philosophical journey with anticipation and curiosity. As we part ways, remember this. We are the custodians of our humanity, the stewards of our consciousness, and the architects of our future. Let us strive to illuminate the shadowed realms of our understanding, to question, to learn, and to grow. Until we meet again, I bid you peace, wisdom, and a boundless curiosity.